welcome back family friends and fans it's karma lately thank you guys for joining me in this next episode we are going to do a couple of different things for a valentine's day project and i know i'm a little late but it's never too late to show your appreciation so at any given time you can still um do something special for your loved one i love to find cardboard in my home that is nice and sturdy this is from costco this is a really sturdy box and i absolutely love it it's um it's power cakes flapjack and waffle mix which it's actually really good i wish that it didn't have cholesterol since it's like whole grains it would have been perfect if it didn't have cholesterol but um, before I start cutting, I like to make some decisions. I don't know if I want to cover this, so I may invert the box once I open it from one side. Where is my cutting mat? And when I'm a little bit, like I'm on an angle right now, I'm just gonna use the ruler to be my guide. Even if I don't touch the ruler, at least it makes me feel more confident. We might still need this. So we're gonna leave it off to the side. took off a little off the top too much but we'll see might be able to fix that later so tell me in the description what you guys did for your loved ones this year did you do anything handmade did you buy anything interesting that you think we should purchase um i know i do a lot of recycle videos but i am not opposed to purchasing something <laughs> and um actually love to shop especially for like gifts and that kind of thing so i don't make everything by hand sometimes i purchase um so yeah i would love to hear what you guys did this year for valentine's day for your special someone or for your mom your dad your children um, i love to give my girls something it doesn't matter what it is. Um, sometimes I give them all three something, just like one thing for all three of them. <laughs> and they've loved those things too. All right, well, we got a lot of recycled scraps here. You can use those. There's something about leaving this. I want to leave it in the interior because I really like the idea of preserving it. I think it's... So this is going to be, this video, I want to show you guys how to do a very romantic, but at the same time, masculine um, Valentine's Day uh, card. And I call it a card, but it could be considered um it could be considered a scrapbook um, by the time i'm done with it it is a three and a half inch ooh, let me see yeah a three and a half inch wide spine and your pages should ideally be a little under seven and a half inches wide and a little under 11 and a half inches wide and that really just all depends on you i like to have my pages a little bit smaller than here so if i decided to make this a scrapbook instead of a um card then i will do that 
I mean, you can still consider it a card if you want to. And the person, you know, once it's nicely folded down, it can, um, it can stand on the mantle. It can stand on the table. And you can just kind of display it as such. So you could still kind of treat it like a card, but I think I'm going to keep this in. I like leaving the authenticity of the actual thing, item that I recycled. And I feel like if this is for a man, having the bear there and the whole grains and just all these dark colors, I think that they'll appreciate it. And I think it's also kind of funny um, that I would leave it. Uh, it has nothing to do with anything, but I think it's kind of humorous to leave to leave this. We probably won't leave this, but all right. So now that we have our inside, I don't have to do anything to the inside. That's another fun thing about this. Now my inside is already done, and I don't have to do anything. If I want to decorate it, I can, but I don't have to do anything to it we are going to work on the front now this can get confusing sometimes so especially if you're working like really fast it can get confusing you want to make sure you want to make sure that you remember the right side is the front and the left side is the back because when you go like this it's this side that stays on the front so you don't want to make this, the mistake, because I've done it in the past, of making this your front and this your back. I would like to do an Italian kind of like old villa. And I love stucco. In fact, I think the video after this one, I'm going to be, or one of the videos after this one, um, if not the one coming up, the one after that, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create stucco. I've already done the video. I just have to edit it because it was long. <laughs> but um, I love stucco. And uh, in Italy, they use that. In a lot of warm climates, they use it. But um, I just love the way that they use stucco in Italy uh, in their villas and their homes and all of that. So we're going to create some stucco here. But before we, we do that, I need to measure out a door. I'm going to use my awl. Let me get my mat, my cutting mat, and I am going to score it. Now, you know what? I am going to score this. Okay. Cool. Also create a small window here.
now we have our window and our door i want to try out this hardy super lightweight model um modeling clay it's nice and moist There's a lot that happens in the Italian architecture, architecture um, European architecture, uh, but I'm specifically talking about our Italy. And there's a lot of detail in the architecture. The detail work is what makes everything so spectacular. So here's some rolled up newspapers going to be using these as my columns this is the pen i found <laughs> so So I'm planning on putting these two columns here and I wonder if I should put two more. So I am not going to use these because they, um, they're like changing too much in size and I want them all to be the same size. I think I might use these. So I have, um, this is like textbook paper. These are magazine pages. And then these are actually um, paper straws. So if you don't want to make them yourself, you can just use paper straws. And it doesn't matter the design that it has because you'll see why later. I am going to use these. And I think I am going to do four um columns i just like i like the idea of the four columns and they're going to be about the same size in terms of width in terms of length i'm trying that they're all the same size we'll see Yeah, I do like the idea of four columns, two on each side instead of just the one. I wanna see. And I'm just going to use Mod Podge. You can use gel medium, which I have somewhere around here. So our air dry clay still has not dried which is nice. We still have some time. I just got an idea okay my idea is to take this and put it here yeah I like that
And these little rolls, I have some, I have some videos doing, well, I, I know I at least have one video doing these little paper rolls and this is a great way to recycle old books and recycle magazines and it makes for a really interesting art, baskets and all that. I'm going to go ahead and measure our door. It is four centimeters by seven and a half. I am going to do four, oops, four centimeters. I can cut this bad boy. So easy to cut. You don't necessarily need a box cutter, although the box cutter does give you a significant amount of precision. I can't deny that. But, and I'm going to cut this in half. And I'm just gonna do some detail work. Let's hope that this works. Before I do that though, I have to clean this area because it has become a little bit outrageous. So now we have our two Uh, pieces let's see if they go well if they need any adjustments since i was eyeballing everything here has pretty much dried so i'm happy about that and let's see if this detail work will work i just need to clip off a little bit off the top of this and a little bit off the top of this these together that one was kind of close but so much better all right great so i'm gonna go ahead and glue that down We got this. Hey sis, happy Valentine's Day. I'm going to give you a call in a, in a few. I, I'm just trying to finish up um, a, a video. Okay, so I'm going to give you a call in a few. What I am going to do is use a couple of different things that I love to use when I am making, um, when I'm doing mixed media. The first thing, Mod Podge. The second thing we're going to be using is spackle. And the third is sand. And... Um, right now, the Mod Podge, I'm just using it to cover everywhere that I want to add some sand. The Mod Podge is a little bit crampy. But... 
gonna add a little bit of sand in between these crevices. What we're trying to do is get a very stucco look. And stucco actually has like cement, sand. Um, it's interesting um, to see what's that what certain things are made of okay let's put in between here between here and it doesn't have to be everywhere i'm gonna use this sand this is just uh sand um for art and i'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle it you have to be careful that eyelashes and different things don't fall on there because once it's on there, it's on there for good. And you want to work with the sand before the Mod Podge dries. Mod Podge, if you put a thin layer, Mod Podge is going to dry really fast. So you want to make sure you're working with it. If there's certain areas that you put a lot, just kind of oh. I'm definitely not going to leave this sand yellow. So I'm going to be using, I forgot to mention, some heavy gesso to prime everything at the end. What I am gonna use for these doors here, I'm gonna use some spackle. And this is old spackle. This is spackle from like over two years ago. Look how moist and, and good the spackle is. So uh, I can tell you right now, <laughs> spackle will last you three years. Um, I don't know longer than that, but definitely I can vouch for three years. So I'm just going to put this spackle on the door. What I love about spackle is that it's um, friendly and it lets you mold it as you like. It's sometimes too friendly, so you have to have some control in your hands and it's good to use tools to help you with that spackle is super friend um friendly <laughs> i'm gonna dab a little bit of mod podge just so that it'll take nicely but looks like it's taking This is where utilizing your both hands comes in handy so that you can control everything. I'm just trying to control the edges because I don't want the spackle to be on the edges because I want the doors to be able to open and close freely. Um, spackle can also be used to make some dramatic stucco uh, moves. I think I need a little more right here. I'm just so shocked that this spackle is so moist. Um, the jar, I guess, is, is pretty airtight, but still, like, um, I've had it for quite a while now, and yeah. So, I want to make this spackle look a little bit, um, like wood so I'm gonna try to smooth it out first I'm going to use this tool.
and I'm going to take a little break. <laughs> 